we're doing this with a mixed stream and uh, Zoom. So we have a stream on Twitch, which is available to everyone because, well, why not make our knowledge free? And then we have a private Zoom for the people at who have registered. So for private discussions on doing the actual exercises. So you don't need to be in that Zoom to take part in this course. So you can just uh, watch the stream and then probably learn something and do things by yourself. You can even make your own private Zoom meetings or whatever to work on exercises while watching us. So as uh, Enrico said Friday, this is like watching TV together. So we have the program, you're following along and trying to learn something. So we have something here, a HackMD document. Um, let me bring that up here. So in this document, uh, want to arrange ourselves some. Yeah, there we go. So if you're watching via our own link, you see it down below. And um, where is it? Here we go. You see it down below. And the purpose of this is, this is our chat. So if you're using the Zoom chat, then you ask a question and either get an answer right away or not, and it's too late. But here you can ask questions like this here. So you can type, okay, I'm typing. Yeah, maybe you can see my pointer here. Yeah. So, wait, where is it? Here. Huh, the pointer is not aligned with what you see on the screen. That's interesting. Okay. So you can write a question like this and then answer. So this allows asynchronous and threaded discussions going on at the same time. And then we take this whole thing and we'll publish it at the end. So all of the questions and answers are available. And this is really important. This is one of the best ways to make, um, like to have this interact interaction going on here. Um, let's see. So note, you'll notice that we have a vertical aspect ratio in our window here. So this is a very important thing also. So you can have the stream vertically using half of your screen and the other half available for you. Either the HackMD to ask questions or your own windows to do your own, um, like your own problems and things like that, like to work on the exercises yourself. So take some time to arrange the windows right now. Yeah, a uh, uh, recommended layout is at the top of the HackMD where the, Let's you have a vertical window for the stream and then a terminal uh, and a, another browser window for the HackMD if you only have one, uh, one screen to use. Oh, we should also say how the HackMD works a little bit more. Uh, I need to switch to my desktop. Where is it? Here we go. So HackMD has a several buttons up here. There's view mode and edit mode. So in view mode, you see it like this. And you see, for example, our recommended layout. So web browser on one side, you have your terminal, you have browser with HackMD or your own, um, like your own web browser there looking at our pages. And then down below are the questions and answers. To edit it, you come up here and you choose edit. And then you scroll to the bottom. So HackMD can easily become overwhelming with basically so many questions that you're following along and people are asking things all the time. But that's okay. So just let it be. And you can always come back later and review things. We also use HackMD to send you links and stuff like that. For example, where we are, what exercises to do at the bottom, we'll have that information there. Mm. 
Okay. So, any other introductory info, Simo? Yeah, maybe maybe I should introduce myself for the people who uh, were here on Friday. Well, for people anyways. But <clears throat> so, hi everybody. My name is Simo Tuomisto. I'm. Uh, um, I can't remember my title now, but but basically, <laughs> I'm a I'm a guy who's working uh, in Altos Key Comp, uh, maintaining the cluster and software stack on the cluster, especially and and doing a lot of other stuff related to that. Yeah. And I'm Richard Darst. I work also work for Alto Scientific Computing. And my official title is staff scientist. And well, like Simo, I do almost anything that is needed. Okay. So while we're getting started, please open up the HackMD and you see an icebreaker here. Please try to answer this question and you can tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're here. Yes, it's okay. like this course is, is very, very general. It's supposed to, well, be helpful for anybody uh, in Alto, outside of Alto. Uh, the answers are pretty generic to all of the uh, uh, HPC clusters that are available. And if you are just st starting your work with scientific computing, if you're a veteran, there's hopefully some information for you anyways. Yeah. So I guess it's noon. Should we get started? Yeah. So let's see. Um, I'm going to share my screen and show the course page here. I have so many monitors open that it's hard to <laughs> um, manage everything. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> 